Hey everyone, Joe from Southern Cross, and today I wanna to talk to you about how you can help prevent bullying within schools as a parent. So we all know that most kids, by the time they reach, I don't even know, the third or fifth grade, they have cell phones on them. Now, I've been very fortunate in my time since I left the military to work with the lead digital intelligence forensics uh, organization on the planet. I've worked with the Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force. I've taught a lot of them how to do mobile forensics. And a part of the discoveries we were making has led me to the conclusion that a lot of the same things that we could be searching for, or a lot of, a lot of the same methodologies that we used in order to determine if somebody had illegal, explicit child material on their phone are the same methods that we could use as parents in order to determine either A, our kid's being bullied, or B, if our kid is a bully. If your child is being a bully, you definitely should be a responsible parent and be putting a stop to that immediately. Here's a couple of ways that you can look through your child's phone to see if they are being bullied or if they are actually a bully. So the first thing is that there's a, a general search feature in all cell phones. So when you open up your cell phone, or iPhone specifically, if you just swipe up to the right and then pull down, you'll see that this search bar populates right here. Similar thing for Android, you're just gonna wanna swipe over to the right and then there's a search function that gets activated. Now, what are we gonna be searching for through our kid's phone? This isn't gonna hit everything, but this does help us identify some things quickly so that we're not sitting there rifling all through our child's phone and making them feel like we're invading on their privacy and also not taking up a lot of time. So the first thing that you could be searching for are terms like hate or stop or hit. You know, think of some key terms and words or phrases that somebody would be responding either to or sending to someone or responding to something that was sent to them. So for example, I hate that person. Stop, as in like, stop doing that. Leave me alone. These are just a couple of key phrases where we could type leave, alone, stop into that search bar and it's gonna populate all of the text messages, some of the social media stuff, but really not uh, that much of it. So if your ch child uses things like TikTok or Snapchat a lot, it's not really gonna populate those things. So this isn't an all end all be all by any means, but it's just some quick ways for you to be able to determine whether or not your kid is a bully or is bullying somebody else or is being bullied. All right, I hope that you find that helpful. Just a quick little video there on how to quickly look through somebody's phone and determine if they're being bullied or not bullied. If you have any other questions on how you could help prevent bullying within your school, your organization, or prevent violence, feel free to reach out, southerncross.company. Thank you very much. Take care, stay safe, and always be kind.